Table Hunter Radio. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. A-Town is definitely in the building. This is the ATL record pool. Of course, <laughs> why not? You feel me? We live right now. A3C edition of this joint, man. It's crazy right now, man. We in the media suite, so, you know, we got to chop it up with the people, man. You know what it is, man. The homie Fabo was in the building, you man. You know. He was over just rock that stage, man. He geeked up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I yeah. just saw a spaceship on Bankhead on my fucking way here. You know what I'm saying? No lie, nigga. That shit is true. You know what I'm saying? Shout know. out to you, homie, man. Welcome to the broadcast, man. Yeah. Holler my people. Yeah, man. You already know $2 Fabo. Stop $2. Stop Fabo. They already know you right here. <laughs> <laughs> it's going down on K100. What's going on, Ja? Man, welcome to the broadcast, man. Thank you very much. Uh, you guys, you guys, uh, you guys had a really, uh, uh, a really, uh, really quick rise, man. You've been with Depot L and everything, yeah. and then you and you branched out and you did your thing, and you had a, a couple of hits up under your belt yourself. Yeah. You guys have uh, toured the world. You feel me? Music is taking you all around the world. Where are you at right now? What space are you in as far as Fable the artist right now, bro? I mean, still touring the world right now. You know, I just left Japan and Spain and. You know, it's just staying working, man, trying to stay relevant in this uh, day and age with these artists that's out right now, which are a lot of men in me, uh, might I add. <laughs> you know? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Shots fired. Shots fired. saying, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, you know, but uh, I love this generation right here because they really embracing what I was trying to do. And that's be different. You feel right. what I'm saying? When everybody trying to make you be the same. So, yeah, man, right now, still being an artist. Uh, I got a lot of stuff out right now. You can go to geekcity.com, G-I-K-C-I-T-Y, and uh, check me out. I got a movie coming out right now. I'm writing another movie right now. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just having oh, fun. Oh, so, uh, well, tell me about the movie. I want to hear about it. Oh, that. yeah. The movie called The J. You know what I mean? It's a story about a, a neighborhood cat, you know what I mean, that lost everything uh -huh. in the crack era. And, uh, yeah, we got the costumes, everything. It's going to be crazy. It's going down. Who's shooting it? Who's directing it? Yeah, yeah. I'm directing it. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I am right. the director. I All am right. the creator. All right. The directorial, yeah, did directorial R. debut. R.I.P. to my brother, Shotty Lowe, man. You know, anytime Absolutely. I'm on the telecast or anything, man, I try to you know, send my shots out because we wouldn't be nowhere without him. How? how, how that whole that, that that was tragic. That was sudden. That was unexpected, man. How did how did that affect you as a person, man? And just change, you know, change. I mean, you, I mean, it changed it changed everything about me because you know we out here taking life for granted, and uh, you know, just like that, you know, it can be over. So it changed my whole perspective on everything and how I look at it. And uh, you know, I just kind of move a little different now. Where, where where do you feel in the status of Atlanta music? Where do you feel you sit, Fabo? Uh, D foil Charlotte, where do you guys sit in, in, as far as Atlanta history? What, do you, what What's your opinion on that? Uh, I just want to say I sit right at the top. <laughs> Hold on you a know, second, homie. Hold on. I put my own. I put my own. I put my own word in the English language the way I wanted it to be said, and that's geek. You know, <laughs> I changed the culture and how people looked at, you know, regular people. Meaning that we was on the streets, we was doing drugs, we was hanging out, you know, we was robbing and stealing and doing the same thing as the next cat, but we right. was having fun at the same time, and uh, we found a way up out of it. And uh, we just wanted to show people how happy we were. You feel me? And so right. that's what you was getting with the dancing, with all of that, because everybody up here got 56 felonies. You know, I had 10, 11 felonies before <laughs> I was 17. So right. to be in that predicament, you just want to stay there. So I just tried to work hard. You feel what I'm saying? Well, so I would say I would want to be right at the top, you know, for just changing the whole game. The well, way people look at the game, the, pay, the way people see the game, the money part of it, all of it, you know, as far as the ringtones. I'm still getting ringtone money, just right. throw that out there. Now, y'all did, y'all did, I got to get y'all, because y'all came up, when y'all came out in the height of that era, man, I was like, man, that's, Yeah, man, but it's yeah, just you hard work pays off, man, hard yeah. work pays off. And uh, being on the streets all your life, you want that number one spot, so we work hard for it. And I know we wouldn't get the credit for it, but if you want to know where I see us, I see us at the very top. Hey, but you know what, that's how you're supposed to be. And no matter what, man, at the end of the day, what, no matter how anyone feels about the music or how they, yeah. what they like, I always, I always commend the fact that at the end of the day, there's a lot of people still trying to get with, yeah. get where y'all have been. Yeah. No yeah. matter, no matter what, if they like the music or not, I've always I, said that. I look that. at it like this, man. Yeah. You know, uh, if you don't like the music, you just turn it off. But at the same time, we was laughing, having fun, and dancing, and now everybody got a gun. Right. So whether you liked it or not, maybe pushing us away, you know, turned it into this culture that you got right now. So we pray for everybody, Lord, save these children. <laughs> no, man, but I mean, you know, we I don't think we ever strive to make people like us. You yeah. know, unlike our music or whatever, because when we're doing the music, we're not knowing that we're going to be judged on this, judged right. on that. Right. We just broke, hungry. And everybody who didn't like the music uh, and everybody who felt like we shouldn't be where we were, they went there with no peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. They ain't had to eat them ketchup sandwiches we was eating. Right. They weren't going to pay our rent. So, you know, who cares? Hey. I'm rich got, now. But. <laughs> <laughs>
It's going to be a really long too, time. It's too late. It's too late now. It's a you long really, time before I fall off. Well, it's a great conversation, man. You know what, dog? This is my first time actually chopping it up with you, man. Yeah. Got to say, man, I really like the energy, dog. You feel like a, a you, no matter what you've been through or whatever, I don't know what you've been through, everything, yeah. but right now, don't matter. you're giving off a positive energy and a positive yeah, space. Yeah, man, I mean, that. I mean, because... When you're in this industry and when you're out here or whatever and you're working your, your tail off yeah. to get to where you at, because the day before I got a deal, I was standing in a $29 hotel room and I was with a $10 hooker and she was working <laughs> for me. So, I mean, right. I, I, I don't know when somebody walked, when I went to New York and it was like, yo, y'all ain't lyricists. I was like, we ain't hungry no more either. Right. I mean, nobody talk about that. You feel what I'm saying? Because they're trying to categorize the music. And when you put people in the category, you're able to control them. You see what I'm saying? Right. I was out the box from the beginning. You can't even play my songs with nobody else's songs. It's like when Fabo's song come on, they just going crazy. You know, you don't want that when you're trying to put people in a category. You know? Right. So right. they gave us our own category, Snap. I had never, <laughs> never heard the word before. Right. You know, we call it doing it. Right. That's what we would K Rap came out, do it, do it, do it. You know, that's what we called it, but it never made it till so. Basically, you know, when everything flourished into what it was or whatever, to see what it is today, I got I got a finger up at all of those people because <laughs> the more you try to stop us, you just created a whole culture. Yeah, yeah. They dancing, they they singing on all the songs, all of that, and uh, the, the same cast that I was talking about D4L, they can't get a job. Well, <laughs> these are the facts. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the homie Fable, man. I appreciate it, man. Oh! In, uh, in the social media where they can rock with you, dog. Yeah, man, you can go to geekcity.com and check me out right now, whatever. I'm fresh off a plane from Spain and Japan, man, and uh, you can catch some pictures and stuff over there. And uh, you can go to uh, I am Fable on Instagram and, you know, see me every day, man, because I cuss the folk. All right, man. K100, real, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Really insightful interview, dog. That was really dope. I fuck with you. Definitely. Yeah. Shout out to the homie, man. <laughs> What up, bro? We had that microphone. All right, uh, let's frame it up. Slide this way a little bit. This way. Slide the chair this way. All right, and sit back. Stay right there, you're good in the frame. Grab a picture real quick. That's the camera for both of them right there. All right. Ready? Uh, what's your name again? Kodak Chronic. Kodak Chronic? Chronic, yeah, Kodak right. Chronic. All right, live.